Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's go ahead and get into this Cancer. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what the week holds for you, Cancer. What does the week hold for Cancer? The Three of Swords. All right, so um, there could be a breakdown in communication between you and someone else, you and someone that you love. There could also be like a divorce or a pending divorce or talks of a divorce. There could be you being separated from your money also due to legal problems, maybe even from a divorce or maybe a court battle. There could be a third party stirring up trouble in your relationship. So it's causing friction between you and your partner, you and someone you're dealing with. There could be infidelity here on your part or the other person's part. There's a lot of heartbreak, heartache here. Somebody it just can't cope with the fact that it is over or it's the beginning of it being over. I heard somebody's busy. I don't know what that's about. Let's see. What's the advice here for my cancers? Is it the Knight of Swords? All right, state your um say what you need to say. Okay. Um, make sure that okay, so if the Knight of Swords is your advice here, it's either gonna go one or two ways. Either somebody's gonna try to persuade you to see things their way. They're, they're going to use all these big, eloquent words, and they're just going to um, come off so philosophical and just like they've got it all together or vice versa. This is what you're doing. You're trying to persuade someone to see something your way, either because they feel like you're getting away from them. They feel like, you know, this is the beginning of the end or this is the end. So this is their attempt to draw you back in. Keep in mind, a Knight of Swords... His only plan is to pull you back in. After that, there's nothing more. There's That was the plan. Now, this could be you or this could be the other person. The Knight of Swords, as the advice also says, you know, make sure you articulate and communicate clearly what you need to say. Um, be focused, be determined uh, in terms of your goals. Uh, you know, if this is about career and finance, uh, but if it's about maybe confronting someone, conf confrontation happens okay it's not what you say it's how you say it right so um that's the advice of the knight of swords um could be dealing with uh an aquarius gemini libra also let me see what we got here or yeah libra libra aquarius and the outcome to this week what's the outcome the two of two of coins so some change is going to happen here um yeah, you've got the, uh, why am I doing that? You've got the, um, okay, so the outcome is the two of coins. I don't know if somebody's really changed. They may be trying to change. They may be acting like they are changing or that they have changed. This isn't a sincere change. This is more so let me do two things at one time. You know, let me act like I am going to be better or do better or show up, but not really. Because in the Two of Pentacles, it talks about like in me medieval times, there was like a, the fool, the jester, the court jester. He, he, his sole purpose was to go around and spread joy, if you will, cheer, cheer people up, even in the times of, of war or famine. So imagine smiling and laughing in a time of famine or war. But that was his, you know, that was his, um, that was his job, you know, just to, to run around and act like everything was okay. Right. And so I don't know, you may have someone showing up as the jester, uh, this week, or this is you acting like everything is okay. Acting like something has changed or something is not so keep that in mind. Somebody could be juggling you. We did see the Three of Swords at the beginning of the reading. Um, you could be juggling someone else. Somebody's picking up on it. Someone is watching you. Um, the Two of Pentacles says that the jester uh, or the magician, also the juggler, um, 
he always knows that somebody is watching. So he's always performing. So this could be a performer. This is somebody who's always performing. Never showing up genuine, but always putting on an act. Always performing. So keep that in mind. Um, Cancer, if you feel like you want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website. Book there. Also, some of you could just be juggling in terms of your finances to, you know, uh, transferring money from one account to another. Looking at your, you know, your books, looking at your bank statements, looking at your P&L, looking at whatever. Just, you know, trying to look over your finances, making sure that everything works out. You're doing a lot of work also. You're trying to keep something up in the air. You're trying not to, to um, drop anything. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles, it says that um, the work that you're doing here is going to show up in the Four of Pentacles, hopefully, where you'll have a different, you know, outlook on money. And uh, maybe your your financial status altogether. So that's what I have for you. Go over to the website, book there. Um, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Find me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can ask questions. You could just come for the collective reading. Uh, thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you.